you are looking at a market profile chart generated on the Thinkorswim platform. In this video, I will show you how I set up my Thinkorswim platform to generate this market profile chart. The first thing we're going to do is to get into the chart mode and into the symbol slash ES to generate a chart for the E-mini S&P 500 futures. The next thing is to clear all the drawings on the chart. If you want to keep these drawings, be sure to make a copy of this drawing set before you clear them. To clear the drawing, click on the drawing tab, select the remove drawing, then clear drawing set from the submenu. Then click yes to confirm you want to clear all the drawing on this chart. Then click the style tab and uncheck the show steady to hide all the steady. Now we will change the chart mode. Click the style chart mode and select monkey bar. Thinkorswim will generate a chart consists of numbers. This is the Thinkorswim version of the market profile. Instead of using alphabet for each time period, it uses number from 1 to 0. Next thing we want to do is to set the time period to 30 minutes. Each one of these numbers will represent a time period. For example, 1 will represent the first 30 minute period and the 2 will represent the second 30 minute period. Once we apply the setting, we will see a chart that is slightly different than what we saw before. Next, we will click the chart setting icon to go modify the setting for this chart. Click the Appearance tab in the Chart Setting window to adjust the setting for the monkey ball. Each will represent the amount of price, and we want to set this height to be representing one tick or the tick size of the instrument. Next is the volume. It should default to none. If it's not at none, set it to none. Next is the option to turn on or off. Highlight the first digit to indicate where the opening price is for each time period. Next thing is to choose a color for the monkey bar, which is the point of control or the POC. And you can change your color by clicking on this color box here. I just leave it the way it is. Then set the percentage for the playground, which is the value area. I just leave it at 70. That represents one standard deviation. Next is to set the color for the value area. For my color scheme, I'm using a cyan, aqua, or a light blue color. Then setting the color for the opening price. Next is to set the color for the closing price. Finally, setting the color for the initial balance. The initial balance represents the first 60 minutes of trading. That's the value in the original market profile concept. Since this chart is set at 30 minute time period, we will need to set this to 2, which will represent 60 minutes. Now we're going to set the cross here to a light gray color. And set the background to black. Make sure the grid box is unchecked to leave the grid off. Now click Apply, then you will see all the changes you have made so far. Now click on the Future tab. And to make sure the extended hour is unchecked. Now click Apply. Then click the Time Access tab and uncheck the Show Rollover Lines. Click Apply. Now we will set the color for each character in the profile. By clicking the Appearance tab, then click the first color tab here to set the color for the first set of 0 to 9 characters. We will choose the bright yellow for the first set. Then click this second color tab and we will choose the bright yellow for the second set as well. 
We won't bother to set the other set since the first two set will cover the regular trading hours. Click OK and we're done. Here is the IB and here's the point of control. The pull high. You see here are some of the single print. The opening price. And the closing price. Let's save this chart setup by clicking the style. Then select Save Style. Enter the name I use Market Profile. Since I already have a style name Market Profile, it will ask me if I want it replaced. Now, whenever I want to convert a chart to use Market Profile, I just select this style. I hope you find this tutorial helpful. If you have any questions, post them on the comment section below and I will try to answer them. Click the thumbs up and subscribe. Stay tuned for a brief illustration on how I use the market profile for trading. This is a live chart of the E-mini S&P 500 future, the ES. In this current session, it has made a poor high and a poor low. It is currently trading near the session's low and it is also near the poor low printed on November 27. Therefore, there is a high probability the price will move down to resolve today's poor low and the November 27 poor low. I'm going to speed it up for a while. Back to normal speed. The session poor low has been resolved. Now we will watch for the November 27 poor low to get resolved. The November 27 poor low is resolved and now the November 26 naked point of control could be the next potential target. In this session, it left a poor high and partial single print from November 27. It has resolved November 27 poor low and left the November 26 point of control remain untagged. 